All right guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to four valve swap your Mustang GT. So let's get into today's video. All right guys, so I'm not gonna drag out this video too long. Um, I'm not gonna be going over what, um, what I could have done what I should have done, none of that in this video. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did do and um, how to install a four valve motor in your 2000 Mustang GT because that's what I have here, the new edge style. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. All right, so anytime you're doing a motor swap or a transmission swap, anything of that nature, the first thing you wanna do is, I'm sure you wanna know if it mounts up in your car the same way that your motor does. So just to verify for you guys, the four valve motor uses the exact same mounts as the two valve motor. So when you pull your two valve 4.6, all you have to do is take the mounts off of your two valve and put them on to the four valve motor. So um, this motor will mount in the car using two valve mounts. Transmission, um, I am using the TR 3650 five speed and um, wire harness wise I am using a Ron Francis um, Televac wiring harness get you a look at that that's my computer still works with my key and everything so um, super simple inside just a few gauges um, just a drop on this car this is a drift car it's not a flicking daily or anything like that but um let's continue what we were saying the transmission this is a 94 Lincoln Mark 8 motor as you can see from the old style manifold hopefully I could buy a new one and get rid of that one because I know it's an older style and it's not as efficient but um, that's what we're gonna be running with for now um, I used a 03 Mercury Marauder um, radiator an overflow tank had the Jimmy rig the lines a bit but they work just fine alternator is also 03 Mercury Marauder um, clutch cable Mustang GT the brake booster the brake booster and the master cylinder is also just your stock Mustang GT brake booster and master um, wire harness wise if you're swapping from a two valve to a four valve there really isn't much wiring to be changed except for the um i like the coil on plug wire harness that is underneath these covers you have to swap the positive and the negative the polarity you have to pull the pins out of the connector if it's like this you have to pull them out and swap them around when you install the four valve um let's talk about the flywheel because when you take the flex plate or flywheel off of whatever motor um, four valve motor you're putting in you have to make sure that you have the right um, you have to make sure that you have the right flywheel for it and what I mean by that is some of these motors have um, a six bolt pattern in the back of it and some of them have an eight bolt pattern in the back and most Mustang GTs is gonna have that six bolt pattern so you're just gonna have to verify and make sure that you have the right flywheel for whatever crankshaft comes in your motor so that's something to think about this motor was the first year that they ever made the 4.6 dual overhead cam these are 2003 Mercury Marauder valve pan covers because I used to have a 03 Marauder motor in here until I bent a rod and I had to swap it out but this style cover is definitely going to be the one you want um, you don't want to have to go back to using the coil on the you know the, the coil pack setup that sits here and then you're running wise it's just a it just doesn't look as clean I mean I know this doesn't look <laughs> super clean but it's better than having those bunch of wires run um, what else computer the computer that I use is also an 03 Mercury Marauder computer and um, like I said we have the Televac wiring harness from Ron Francis which is very cool very easy to, to install 
I mind this bunch of cable I have for a wire. I have it run and casings going forward. And um, still a lot of work to be done to the car, but I'm just making this video to show you guys how easy it is to get this mounted in the vehicle. So, so far, once you have a motor that has the correct crank in it so that you can use your stock flywheel, there's literally nothing that you would need to buy to install this motor into your Mustang GT. All right, so let's talk about fueling. Uh, stock fuel pump is fine. What we have to remember is based on what motor you receive, you might receive a returnless style motor or, I mean, fuel rail, a returnless style fuel rail, which is one hose, or you might receive a fuel rail that has a um, feed and a return. Now, I have the luxury, because I had the 03 Marauder motor, that the O3 Marauders are returnless so it has one line on it but the fuel rail that I'm using is the 94 Lincoln Mark 8 uh, return style so I had to run one extra line to the tank for my return and there's a um, fuel pressure regulator sitting right on the fuel rail so bear in mind the 2000 Mustangs are returnless and if you get an old enough motor, you might have to run another line to the tank to make it um, return style. But uh, tune, let's talk about the ECU tune. The tune that you would need on these is actually none. You can run the stock GT tune and they would run perfect and fine because right now that's a 94 motor and I'm using um, a 03 Marauder computer and it runs just fine. I used all of the um, sensors from my Marauder. So crank sensor, cam sensor all of that stuff i use from the o3 marauder so the computer reads um fine but the the biggest thing about this swap is actually just finding a motor that's the biggest part of it like i said if you have a gt and you have a blown motor or you just want to swap to a four valve for the cool factor of having an all aluminum motor or however you want to do it just remember you take everything off of the gt you slap it onto this motor and put your motor back in um, you reverse the polarity on those um, uh, coil packs and that's it. It's really that simple. You fix your fuel rail the way that it needs to be fixed, whether it's return style or returnless. But this swap is definitely not hard to do. You can follow all of my videos. I have a complete swap guide right in the playlist section of my YouTube channel. You guys can check that out. Also, you can just scroll down. I've been um, uploading two to three videos of this car weekly. So there's a lot of content on it right here on my channel. If you have any questions on anything that I didn't cover in this video, you could definitely leave it in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as possible. But um, even when it comes down to starter, uh, flywheel, gearbox, drive shaft, um, injectors, all of that stuff you can use from your GT. Um, the four valve motors do come, most of them do come with um, I believe the GTs come with 19 pound injectors and the four valves come with 21 or 23 some somewhere around there 23 24 pound injectors It would be best to leave those bigger injectors in it and get a retune from like a SCT X4 tuner That's always an, um, a good thing. You want to get as much power out of these things as possible um, But the rundown on my car is it's a 94 Lincoln Mark 8 motor 03 Marauder computer Ron Francis wiring, um, Televac harness, uh, 410 gears in the rear, TR3650, and that's it. It's, it's super simple, but um, it took me a long time to figure out a lot of the kinks in doing this swap. And now that I know, I'm willing to share it with you guys, and so you don't make the same mistakes I do. Like I said, you can go and follow every last video that I made on this car. I think I have over 40 or 50 videos just with this car building it. So check those out, a lot of information that you guys can get from that. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.